know this. Yeah. We know what you want to do. We already have prepared for it. We own this. If, if no. are you, <laughs> those are our brothers <laughs> and sisters <laughs> in MPL <laughs> Indonesia. That's true. <laughs> Shout out to the the Haas stream. Yeah, to by the, the way, stream, yeah. for the Indonesians who would like to watch MPL Philippines playoffs on their native language, we have a Bahasa stream as well this time around. But Claude? what are, what's going to be the reply here? Claude's open. At the Claude? Claude Barats? Oh, never mind. Oh, all okay. easy. A lot of breaks. All right. <laughs> it's going to be the Roger. Finally, <laughs> someone picked up the Roger. Roger. Well, it's like Roger was late to the party yesterday. No one picked him up. That's yeah. true. It became a battle of uh, who gets the mosque first. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, it has a 100% win rate in Indo with the Barats. So uh -huh. uh, with, the, with the matches yesterday with, I, I think, three teams yeah. liking the Barats and Moscow, that does make sense. It's, you know, it goes, uh, it goes, uh, it aligns with the statistics from other regions. But again, Liquid Echo and RG, they have different Whoa. strategies here. They have identities. Oh. And Liquid Echo, again, sticking to what they know, sticking yeah. to the comfort. This is the identity of this squad. You put heroes that are very comfortable on these stellar players so that they can per perform inside the game. And I love the Valentino pick coming in from RSG as well, making sure that there will be no final slash available for the side of our uh, Liquid Echo. It looks like they're going to take away more roamers oh. if you're Liquid Echo. Game plan for Liquid Echo, second phase, because if you go to uh, if, if browse the history, the uh, draft history of RSG, Light has always been on the second phase. Now this Croc, they did the same thing on game number one. If they remove the Edith once again on the side of uh, RSG, Light might be forced to once again go back to the Rubies, the uh, the Chos, even the Guinevere Rome. That's why maybe the reason why we saw it game number one because they had nothing on the Rome. They have no option, and that's what they do. Grok, Edith, Edith is now taken off the table. RSG, they had to go back to the Guinevere and the, the Rubies. Oh. I like how we just both went, yeah, uh, we just like groaning from time to time, especially when we are uh, waiting for the last ban. And uh, no, I thought it was an acknowledgement also of what Midnight said <laughs> of like, wow, Light's getting pinched again. Yeah, yeah you and know. And if Liquid Echo pick up the Roamer in the next pick, then Light has gotten pinched again. Bro, JP Mino is coming, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Minotaur coming in from JP, one of the most effective pickups that they've used in the regular season. I would say Liquid Echo would be really happy to take that pickup. All right, Knots is on the outlet once again. Looking at the stats, 75% win rate. Oh, RSG, they took the bait. They removed the minnow. There's a good chance JP gets the ruby here. Yeah. Unless with the Valentina there, with the Valentina there, I wouldn't want to pick up the ruby as much. Even though, yes, Trent go for that. Maybe it could be something else. They could go back to the Carmilla uh, if they want to give the Curse of Blood to the Valentina. Yeah, especially with the Yuzong too. Yeah. Like it's a good combo with the Petrify oh. and the knockup. RSG though, like there's a good chance they flex this Arut into Rome and yeah. then pick up a Benedetta for not because it is a good matchup against a Yuzong. Yeah. Uh, and you know what? With all those heroes that you mentioned, saying I wonder if Liquid Echo would consider being one of the first teams because I can't remember if anyone actually picked it up. No, yeah, it has been picked up. I'm saying Kufra. Oh, Ooh. I miss, I miss I Kufra. Miss yeah, the miss last Kufra. time that I saw Kufra was in the hands of Chalk Mamba himself. Heck? It looks like they're going to go for Florin instead. And uh, what is that reaction, bro, there? No, I'm just like, it's surprising to me. I mean, it's Florian with Boxia. I, I think they just want to be able to uh, sustain the damage output of the Roger. Because the thing about Roger is that he likes playing into team fights with Maybe three to four heroes with low HP. Yeah, Florian solves that because, like, if he if you go in, you smell somebody, he just presses blue, and then yeah. they can reset and then go for the team fights once oh, again. No, but my problem with this brother man There's is a that battle on the other side. Yeah, yeah, with, yeah exactly. With all of the bands of Liquid Echo, I thought they wanted to pick up a Roman mid tandem that yeah, exactly. can actually control the middle. But then with two, a Florian and Novaria, they'll be oh, trying Joe to control Ruby. with folks. Yeah, a punch for a punch. All right, the yeah. no oh, there you go, the barrage. Wow. That's a lot of crowd control coming in from RSG, similar to what they showed in game number one. So this is going to be a crucial pickup. The Moskov, I think, is still open to take, but would you actually play Moskov in this type of lineup? Uh, I mean, this Barat, Paquito, and uh, Roger, I think you want a very mobile gold laner. Moskov is mobile enough, but I, I think you want to be able to split push as well. Claude. Claude is up there, but also in terms of like 
uh, team fight against, against RSG, you also want sheer shred, yeah. which is Nathan and carry allows you to do. That's it. So they do go for the carry. Renmar was all, already dancing here. He knew that the carry pick was coming. The shred yeah. was what they needed. And it's also a good matchup against the Barats. Yeah, and it's also the best pick for Benny Cutie this season. Seven wow. wins, one loss. Uh, one of the best comfort picks here for Benny Cutie. And uh, when we look at the Barats versus uh, carry matchup, as Midnight said, this is the actual direct counter where you kind of just want to shred these tanks. And uh, if we look at the tanks as well on uh, the side of uh, RSG, there's a lot of uh, people to shred if you're the carry. Yeah, I just want to point out that maybe the reason why Liquid Echo didn't want to go for the anti-light strategy was because of the fact that they recognized that light might have been might be able to flex that Arlot into row, which ah. they did. So I think they really just wanted to prioritize the over the overall composition. But it looks good. It looks good from the side of uh, Liquid, uh, Liquid Echo because that now. RSG, they have damage, they have crowd control, but it's not reliable enough against the carry, which I think why the Claude and carry uh, worked in their lineup. Now you add more sustain and heal to that, you just amplify the presence of this, the, uh, this carry with the heals. Oh, and now we are going to enter game number two between Liquid Echo and RSG Philippines. Will it, go into, will it be the match point for the side of Liquid Echo or will RSG ensure the game number four we're about to know and speaking of the early game are we actually gonna see RSG once again go for the same aggressive maneuver or do they have to simmer it down a bit notch now don't simmer man let it boil and Benny Cutie getting boiled in the bottom lane right now but he's gonna be able to survive he's not gonna miss out on any cards though it feels like yeah but Liquid Echo they did get the carry it's, a, it's a, an overall good idea but they do play it into a losing matchup. Parry, I, I'm gonna be honest, Parry sucks against Roger. Uh -huh. Roger owns whoa, 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 that lane. Oh, oh no! Oh, that's a solo kill. That's not how you want to start this off. Sanford, solo kills Nats in the EXP lane. Oh, we big. rarely get to see that happen, that's and big. when it happens, it's big. That is so, so big. Ugh. They might lose out on the level four as well from Nats. This is why, they would have wanted the Benedetta. At the very least, it, I, I think it's a better matchup because Paquito, you're quite susceptible to the petrify of the Yuzong. Yeah, and uh, for Paquito especially, the laning phase is such an important time if you're the Paquito. Gaining the advantage early on, having access to that early Fury Hammer could have been it if you're Nats, but suffering that early death means he will not be able to get that uh, burst damage up online by the first turtle fight. Yeah, unless... They try to force it, but uh, at this point, yeah, they gotta they gotta take it easy now. It, funnily enough, they need to be more calculated up against the human calculator in Sanford. <laughs> exactly, yeah. You gotta find the calculations to sort of uh, take him down a notch here because uh, snowballing Sanford Yu Zong, that's something not Liquid a good Echo idea. is very happy with. Yeah, yeah, not a good idea to go up against. Also <sighs> consider that the fact of the matter is Echo, a Liquid Echo right now, they have very comfortable heroes. And now it makes the keys to victory here for RSG much, much harder, devising a plan to contest at least the turtle away from Liquid Echo. Now that Sanford has been able to get that solo kill on XP, that is going to be crucial when it comes to momentum of this game. RSG, they do have that Roger, but you are up against a late game comp with the carry on the side of Liquid Echo. So it, losing this turtle is going to be huge for RSG. Gotta agree. Uh, the first turtle usually dictates a tempo, especially if there's no big trade cross map for the other team. True. And um, at Liquid Echo right now, we are just waiting for the troubleshooting to finish. But overall, I'm saying that the early game, because of that one kill on the hands of Sanford, yeah. would mean an insured first turtle unless something really bad happens for them. Yeah. Uh, looking at the lineup right now of RSG Philippines, though, they still have a lot of tools.
in there to turn it around and still find their and build their own snowball. Yeah. It's not a complete loss just yet. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, I agree with Midnight saying just yet. Maybe and for our viewers out there watching the English broadcast right now who are in the Philippines, if you ever go to Las Piñas City here in SM South Mall, we are is, live is in the events hall in the is third that floor. And if you wanna, yeah, that's Brigida. And uh, <laughs> if you wanna, if you wanna watch MPL, you could actually go to the community hub right next oh, to yeah, our you're venue. Right. No tickets needed. The community is over there. But if you do have tickets to secure, oh. you could enter the. Uh, Champions Arena and enjoy chop. MPL with us as we go back to the land of dawn. Very, very slow game so far after that one. Elaine. He's not even level four yet. There's going to be no contention here from RSG. Unless, unless Demon Kai, just look at him. Come on, man. There's a dragon coming towards you. And you're really going to stay there. Here comes Aqua, though, in an off angle to try and get close enough. No, it will not be caught. Oh, the battle. Demon Kai taking a lot of damage. Stanford going in. He takes no a way. Up. A massive one from the Yutong. No yeah, way. Goes down. Stanford survives. Two down for RSG. Well, but left. Nah, finds the Yutong. He gets one back. Here comes RGBH with their own clap back. Call uh -huh. easy, trying to survive. Double knock up. to hold on. The knock up. Oh. And right will fall. Call easy does not. What a counter Osaji. by Liquid Echo. So many things happened in that entire sequence. But who won the trade? Uh, it's Liquid Echo for sure. You see, whenever Liquid Echo are on Comfort Heroes, they just constantly make play Sanford after that petrify onto the Barats. They did enough damage for uh, the Yuzong to fall, but wh what he did there was make sure that if, if, ever, if ever he dies, he deals enough damage to the heroes on the side of RSG so that Liquid Echo can, continue, uh, can still continue to fight. And uh, so far, Liquid Echo with a 1.5k gold lead. The XP lane coming in from RSG. I do feel like he kind of got a bit of gold with those kills or a yeah. kill that he did get in that um, entire trade up. Uh -huh. But look at that. Damage coming in from Nats. And that's just a Fury Hammer. It's yeah. just a Fury Hammer. <laughs> it's a one level lead here for Sanford. But Nats, it's sort of like he gave him a heat check. I got a kill on you earlier. The lead of yours isn't that massive. I can still take down 50% yep. of your health with one combo. Yeah, I mean, he did take down the Yuzong uh, earlier, but again, Liquid, uh, Liquid Echo, they do have the gold lead at their side, uh, the gold lead at the side right now. But remember, they are on a carry. They have to wait for the late game. RSG, yeah. they have a Roger. Mid game is everything for oh, the Raiders. That's a big 4v1. Who's sake? Can he find the key to get away? Carl Tizi is able to stun him down. He uses the flicker to get away. Here comes Aqua, but he's going to be. Here the other three members of Liquid Echo. Here comes Light as well, and now Liquid Echo have been sent back. Oh, but that means a lot of plating gold going into the hands of Ben Cutie. 170 to be exact. Now Turtle will be reset. Liquid Echo and RSG trying to fight for control here. Yeah, playing a game of chicken around this Turtle. Already a Hunter Strike there for Sanford, but he's not here. Four versus four. Car, car, car. Liquid Echo is oh. able to get it, but Light with a final slash. Nom, 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 nom. Call TZ takes Delicioso for Demon Kite, and Call TZ will fall down. Kusei gets the kill. Two Turtles down for the side of Liquid Echo, but looks like uh, kills are starting to fall down as well for RSG. Oh, JP tastes damage while Kusei tastes the sweetness oh, of another kill, but he survives Ooh. even though he pounced under the tower. Damn, again, the clapbacks are coming from both sides. RSG, they lost that turtle from an amazing retreat on Carl Thiesi, but the final slash that Light did onto Liquid Echo, they were able to get the jungler on the side of the cavalry. Yeah.